Hello everyone, welcome to the Ichimoku.co daily stock market review for the trading day ending Monday, April 11th. Firstly to the S&P 500 and selling in the market today, uh, the market down 5.61 points, uh, down 0.27%, a black body candle, so the sellers are finding some downside momentum as opposed to the very small amount of upside momentum from the previous day's trading. Today the market has closed back down towards the lows, suggesting that the sellers have taken back control of the market and they've shown some commitment by closing down towards the low for the end of the trading session. Importantly, uh, the market finding resistance at the Tenkan Sen indicator for the second consecutive trading day and for the third day price action has been rejected from above the Tenkan Sen. Also important is the 2040 level holding support continuing to hold and it suggests that it is a very, very important area. Uh, one just gets the impression here that uh, with the build of momentum today and following from the meek tests above the Tenkan Sen indicator, that we may see uh, the breakout down below the 2040 level uh, within the next day or two. Uh, you would expect that the buyers would have come into the market quite strongly, although it doesn't mean that they uh, they uh, won't. But dealing with probability and how this market has been looking over the last three days, we're not seeing any strength from the buyers, and this suggests that the sellers may be the stronger party. If we do see the market close down below 2040, looking to fairly strong support to come in around the Kijun Sen and around this 2019 level, the Kijun Sen trading at 2022. Uh, the market is still bullish in the longer term and medium term timeframe, supported by the Chica Span. And that's suggesting that uh, if we can find support around one of these areas or even possibly, possibly bounce off 2040, we could end up seeing the market trade back up through that Tenkan Sen indicator. Just looking at this pattern that's forming something of a flag type pattern and uh, as always we require a trend and here we have the trend in place. The congestion area sloping down like a flag and they tend to be continuation patterns but not always. And completion of the pattern would be uh, a close outside of the upper barrier or a close down below the lower barrier. Now obviously if we see a close outside of that upper barrier, uh, there is a good opportunity here for the market to trade significantly higher because it would be trading in line with the longer term time frames. That longer term time frame by trading above cloud and the medium term time frame by trading above the kitchen sand indicator. If we do see a close down below the uh, bottom uh, barrier, uh, then the Kijun Sen may come into play and as we move into the next few trading days that bottom barrier will actually meet the Kijun Sen and potentially strengthen the amount of support around that bottom barrier. Just looking at the bands here with the uh, S&P and once again the market trading within the band suggesting that that very strong bullish tone to the market is no longer here and we're seeing a market that's moving sideways and potentially preparing to transition into a downtrending phase. Not yet, uh, the story's not over yet, but certainly a market that's uh, quite neutral. Once again for the third consecutive day the market's been rejected from that upper band and a uh, fairly strong rejection here today with the market closing down below that middle band. Middle band failing to hold as support suggests we could see lower prices but if we do see the market trade down looking to the lower band at 2031 to hold a support uh, uh, this pullback that we're seeing. Looking at the Heiken Ashi candles and uh, they're all uh, showing very small bodied uh, candles with shadows on the top and bottom suggesting uh, that there is a lot of indecision in this market. Um, downtrending activity is not being supported and uh, if we are going to see some strong downtrending activity we'd see these largest black shadows with no sh uh, sorry largest black candles with no shadow on the top and that's not what we're seeing so suggesting here that there is a possibility of us seeing the buyers coming back into the market and suggesting that in this pullback the sellers are not terribly strong